Greetings everyone. I've held off making one of these videos for two years um, because I didn't want to be seen to be cashing in from Covid but after one of my best friends and business partner um, succumbed to the illness this week I have decided to work on lungs, esophagus, general coughs, colds, influenzas and the dreaded C virus. So this is going to be a mixture of everything that I can think of that is coming through for me when I work with long Covid patients and people in the ICU. Um, so we're also going to bring in um, some a bit of Taoist breathing, colour breathing technique. Um, so I want you to not worry about breathing deeply if I say breathe deeply. And don't worry if you can't keep up the pace of breathing or if you're breathing too quick, okay? Do not force anything from this video. Take what you will, discard what you will and let's see what happens. Let's see if we can just relax you and calm you. I make no claims to heal it. We just want to help you manage the symptoms within your mind and if the Reiki and the energies work then thumbs up and thank you gods, goddesses, angels, ancestors, whoever. Okay, so this is for your comfort and with love from me to you and yours at this very difficult time for our world. Okay, all right, so let's begin. I want you to imagine a beautiful oak tree. A uniform oak tree is in the middle of a field. I would like you to just visualize looking at the trunk directly opposite your line of eyesight. Cast your eyes downwards towards the earth and then when you feel it working at your feet, know that your roots are growing downwards into the earth and they are connecting with this tree. And I am now holding up the oum for the oak and I'm going to draw that down your centre line. Yeah. Dear Oak of the Druids, tall protective tree, oldest of woods. Okay. I'd like you to imagine its branches in the shape of lungs and then I'd like you just to lie down in this field somewhere within the shadow of this oak okay we're gonna call in Archangel Raphael to come and assist your guides, your helpers, mine as well, my druid. And we are going to imagine you being enfolded in Raphael's wings, like a swan encases her signets. And at various times, other trees are going to join us as well. And as you're breathing out, just keep in the back of your mind, breathing in light, breathing out grey, breathing in light, 
breathing out grey. This is the Taoist technique of bringing colours into the organs of the body. Breathing in white, white light. Breathing out grey. Okay. Okay. So I've got a number of crystals, oum, shells and oils here. And before I start, I'm going to put frankincense over my hands. Now frankincense tree is the one that is coming through the most. Um, and when I actually looked up the healing properties, it helped with um, respiratory problems. So I'm just rubbing that on my hands and I want you just to imagine breathing that in. imagine when you used to go to church some of you may still do that smell okay breathe it in shallowly or deeply remember what I said whatever is all right for your capacity the rings on my fingers will help cleanse as well okay and of course we have Archangel Raphael here soothing, comforting and helping. So frankincense now joins our circle of trees. And I'm going to hold up this pendulum and I'm literally going to tell it to absorb the frankincense. And it absorbs in an anti-clockwise direction. This is a special pendulum that absorbs medicine apparently. I don't know where you can get them. I struggled with this because they've come from France. Absorb, absorb, absorb. As this is happening, just think of a frankincense tree, a little tree, very short, probably not much taller than yourself, in the middle of a sandy desert with amber almost drops of golden frankincense dripping down the bark and it has a little canopy it kind of looks like a bonsai of course a very sacred oil to many religions of the Middle East and it's still absorbing I'm just letting it spin until it does its thing okay so it seems to know that you guys need a lot. Okay. All right, so I am going to hold this energy and I'm going to tell it to release. Feel that releasing the medicine, breathing in white and frankincense and breathing out the grey. Breathing in white and frankincense and breathing out the grey. Breathing in white and frankincense and breathing out the grey. Breathing in white and frankincense and breathing out the grey. Breathing in white and frankincense, breathing out the grey. Breathing in white and frankincense, breathing out the grey. Breathing in white and frankincense, breathing out the grey. Breathing in white and frankincense, breathing out the grey. Breathing in white and frankincense and breathing out the grey. And that has released its medicine now. Okay, well done. Just relax and rest. Okay. I'm going to draw some symbols over you now. Okay, first of all I'm going to invite Saint Germain and the angels of the violet fire and the violet flames to come and surround you now. You may have felt an energy shift then as these angels will transmute the negative energy into positive energy. And I am now going to draw the master symbol Daikumyo, Daikumyo, Daikumyo. 
and I'm going to push that into you, push that in all the way down your line, but mainly into your lung and esophagus area. Okay. I'm also going to draw a symbol called Motor Xenon, and I'm going to hold that up. And if you want to screenshot this, do this because this fights infection. So I'm going to just draw that. Pushing that in. One lung. Two lungs. Esophagus. I'm also going to draw in the choke, double choker rays to activate that. Okay, to give it a bit of power. And that is what those look like. So if you want to screenshot that, do that as well. That one can be before it, symbol in the middle, that one after it. But just do one of them. It's not always necessary, okay? Okay, breathing in white and breathing out grey. Okay, so we're going to take some smoky quartz now and I'm just going to rub away from your lungs, drawing it out, catching it in this smoky quartz. Visualizing that motor xenon symbol as it works, it goes into the bloodstream. The little jaggedy bit in the middle, piercing the infected atom molecule cell, whatever you want to call it. And the hook, drawing it out, drawing it out of your body. Okay, breathing in white and frankincense, breathing out grey to catch on this. Okay. And let's just ask for peace and healing and tranquility. Peace, healing and tranquility. Peace, healing, and tranquility. Okay. And there are other trees that can assist with this as well that I'm going to bring in now. So I'm going to bring in the yew tree. And look at the colours of the woods and the bark. Okay. So this tree is a distance healing tree. So anyone who comes to this video after I've posted it in the future, this tree works down the timelines because some of them are about 2000 years old even. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this down in front of you and I'm gonna draw Yoho, Yoho. Oldest of woods, Taxus Bacata. Taxus Bacata. And its leaves will be like pine but flat and not prickly. It'll have red berries. The berries can be made into a tart, but the pips need to be discarded because this is a toxic tree used in cancer therapies as well. Okay. Sending that in to hold the timelines, to go in front of you, but also behind you if you need it, down your line. 
So to go back right in the time that you caught the infection, whatever it is you're suffering from. And we have another tree coming in now. The fir tree, the silver fir tree. Elim. 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 And this tree will emit a blue energy to work at your kidneys. And the kidneys is what also sorts out toxins, holding the urine before it goes down into the bladder. So sending blue light into your kidneys. Elim, Elim, Elim. So it's important to keep your fluids up, okay? having little sips of water if you can and visualizing that water moving down your esophagus and through into your body and then when you go to the toilet expelling those infectious atoms molecules cells whatever they are i don't know what the technical term is but expelling that virus that influenza or cold in any way that we can Okay, and just remember the frankincense fragrance as I waft my hands, breathing in white to your lungs and breathing out grey, breathing in blue to your kidneys and breathing out grey. And you can do this into any organ. Okay. And then we're going to call in another tree, and this is the rowan or the or the mountain ash. Okay, I draw this as Luish, 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 and I'd like you to imagine a beautiful maiden stepping out from behind the oak tree. And she walks across towards the rowan tree with its red, yellow or orange berries. She has a long thread in her hand and she picks the berries and puts them onto the thread and the needle, making a beautiful beaded necklace out of these berries for you. She threads them with the protection of Luis. She threads them, whispering incantations for your healing. Wellness and wield, abundance, life, healing and soothing. All of those nice words that you need at the moment, comfort, love. All the while these trees around you are breathing out oxygen. Okay. And then we're going to bring in one last tree, but we're going to bring in a little stand of them because these trees like to group together. These are the poplars but also they are um, uh, a field maple, those kind of trees as well. And we, the reason I've brought this in is because the leaves whisper in the wind and, and the actual name for this in the Irish is air. So air, I've played on the words here. So we're gonna draw that above you. And as the wind rustles, just imagine listening to the whispering as these trees whisper magic and healing over you. They like to gossip, they like to laugh apparently, people say. And they are gentle. 
and they are kind. They offer you shade if it is hot. They also offer up their sugar if you need it. Especially, obviously, the Canadian maple that we know. Okay. Breathing in white and frankincense. Breathing out grey. Breathing in blue to the kidneys breathing out grey and let's also breathe in the orange and the red and the fire and breathing out grey okay let's pick this up a little bit more okay and they say to increase the oxygen there are crystals that you can place around you, um, particularly also if you are studying iron pyrite. This is a pyrite sun, so I am going to shine that in now. Fool's gold you may know this as. And this pyrite sun would have been formed within the layers of coal. So these come out of coal mines. And it is said if you place this on your stomach, if you have stomach ache, it helps quell the pain, which I have done. But also if you are studying for exams, putting pyrite on your desk. And another one is this fossilized wood. Place around you if you are studying, but let's place it by you as you recover here, aiding in the oxygen that you are going to be breathing in, going into your bloodstream, grounding it in, because it is a very grounding stone. Okay. And I think we're gonna start soothing now. So I'm just gonna do a last little bit of clearing. Breathing in white and frankincense, breathing out grey. Breathing in blue, breathing out grey. Breathing in orange and breathing out grey. Okay. I just want to go up your esophagus. Open your mouth. Okay, right. One more time. Open your mouth. And a last power of three and all that. Okay. Another crystal. Rhyolite for air and oxygen. Just going to hold that up now. So just imagine these crystals magically around you. Look at the whiteness as it grows and works through the greyness. And if I turn it over, you can see a little crystal quartz geode. It's not as shiny that side because I've had that out to the air for many years. So let's just work with that side. And imagine those little black bits there as the infection and the white is going to spread out. And I'm going to draw a very light symbol now. Ancient Buddhist symbol called Jore. Imagine the whitest light ever. As the angels assist with the application of this. The violet flame angels are clearing the energy and Raphael is now going to place his hands on the back of you directly behind your lungs. Okay. Sending in that white light, repairing 
and visualize these as the shape of your lungs, sending those light codes in, that healing, that love. Visualizing the oak tree in the shape of your lungs as well, breathing in white and breathing out gray, breathing in white and breathing out gray, breathing in white and breathing out gray. Okay, relax, relax. Relax. And if you have got the serious illness, you're probably quite scared. Even if you haven't and you're very scared I send you love and I send you courage and I'm going to say that even if you do cross over it will be all right you will be all right people will come to get you angels will be with you and you will be returning to God to the omnipresent the creator Brahma Yahweh whatever you call that light your soul family your relatives your friends they will guide you and help you and you will have a time to heal and also be forgiven we've all done things we're not proud of but you will be fine you will be fine Okay, so I'm going to draw a symbol of courage into you now. Courage. 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 Now we're going to just use a bit of a gate and this soothe the esophagus, your throat if it's very sore. And I'm just going to gently soothe. So take your mind back into this field with these trees crowded around you, the frankincense, the oak the silver fir, the yew, and the rowan. Knowing that Raphael is with you, working on your lungs, but also enfolding you within those wings. The maiden who is now making a cough syrup out of the rowan, is by you, your private herbalist. And all of these Reiki symbols that I have shown you today spin as holograms around your body, working their magic for at least the next three days. Okay, so I think now and we need to just ground you in and finish just a half hour meditation today in healing. So I'm just going to run this all the way down you. And I'm going to place it at your feet. And I'm going to leave you here surrounded in the love of these light beings and these trees. And I'm going to send you love, courage and healing. Take 
care now. Love and light.